Hey, what's up you guys? Shardums Prime here doing another toy review on the Ghostbusters Afterlife Fright Features Monsters, Ghostbusters Stay Puft, Marshmallow Man, Slimer, and Muncher. I gotta give a big thanks to Hasbro for sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Hasbro, check it out. Link in the description below. And you can see that we have Stay Puft, Marshmallow Man, Slimer, and then Muncher is the new ghost over here. Very, very cool looking on the side of the packaging. You can see a wraparound image that goes to the front for each of these. And then on the back, you can see each of the toys. And one reason why I wanted to talk about these today is that they do remind me of the real Ghostbusters monster action figures from way back in the day. I could see the inspiration right here. If you guys could see it, I don't know. But I like how this looks already with the features for each one. There's a read-up over here for Muncher. There's a read-up over there for Slimer. And then there's a read-up over here for the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. All right, nothing going on much on the side or on the top or much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack these things open. <laughs> And here's all three toys out of the packaging and they look pretty good i gotta say they have very clean paint apps no crazy paint detail they are you know kids toys and stuff but they look really good I like how the stay puff marshmallow man looks over here it's one of my favorites nice blue paint apps nice clean white line right over there and the red looks really good so i can't really complain about any of that but you know these are all about the little functions and the features that they have so with Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, you just want to squeeze the legs inward, and then, whoa, there he is. Look at that, arms are thrown up, and you can see that he's spun all the way around. So just to demonstrate again, twist all the way down, get the head facing forward, and then squeeze the legs, and there it goes. And it has little faces right here sculpted on the inside, so you can see all the little Stay Puffs right over there. That looks really neat. You can see that melted marshmallow dripping down and everything, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. So that's pretty neat. And then we have Slimer over here, which is a favorite of most people's, right? I love Slimer. And I think the teeth look really good. The gums for the paint are very, very clean. Little details on the tongue. I don't know if that's food or taste buds right there, but the eye paint looks very clean. And it's mostly all green as it should be. Got the Slimer butt. You can see the slime right underneath Slimer. He's got a button right over here. So you just want to press that. So I'm going to leave it on the floor then hit the button and whoa. Oh, there he goes. Okay, let's do it again where he's facing forward. Oh, that is nasty. But yeah, no, it's not really that gross. But I love that you can see the spinal column inside there. That's really neat. So you get all those ribs and everything. Big old Slimer tongue sticking out right over there. So that's cool. And plus he pops up too. So that's really neat. I like that. So very cool. If you want him on display while he's still upwards like this, like he's kind of hovering around, that's kind of cool to do as well. So I kind of like that. But yeah, I want the mouth hanging out and the arms up and everything. And then we have the newest one. We have Muncher, which I really like. It fits in with the other ones and everything. It almost makes me feel like I've seen him before. Probably didn't, but yeah, I like the garbage and everything inside of his mouth. That looks really good. Nice sculpted detail. It looks like a license plate right over here. So I could make out some of the garbage that you could see in there. So that's pretty cool. Nice jagged teeth. I like the wrinkles and everything. It's very baby blue color with some gray on there. So that seems to be his theme. Then he's got some garbage on the inside right over here and some more trash on the side of the, the belly and all that. And it's very wrinkly and stuff. And he's got these buttons right over here. So yeah, he has uh, two different features. So to use the first feature this ball will kind of stick out of his mouth if you lift the arms up and then boom there you go so he's kind of like almost projecting that thing popping people in the face with the ball of garbage coming out of his mouth okay and then you have this other feature right here we have these two buttons and you get this fire hydrant kind of creeping its way out of the belly and a stop sign kind of creeping its way out of the belly too so ugh, that's nasty yeah so very cool little feature though it seems to be all painted pretty well underneath there and stuff so yeah i like the little muncher this is pretty neat so to measure out these toys you can see that muncher is pretty short around the four inch mark and then fully extended slimers at around five inches and then stay puff marshmallow man is at about six to six and a half inches tall i'm not going to go crazy with size comparisons most of my viewers enjoy the adult collectible figures that's really what this channel is about but i loved these older toys back in the day and that's really why i wanted to talk about these toys right over here is because i only have these two still uh, the wolfman one i really want to get a hold of if i see that at a toy show or something but yeah i really liked the wolfman a lot and i also liked the football player whose back flipped open and turned into a giant mouth but yeah i mean if you wanted to mix these together over here i think it kind of works right maybe not maybe so and here's our ghostbusters afterlife ghosts next year average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button i 
I liked talking about these. They are fun to look at, all right? And I'm going to play with them with my daughters and everything, too. So I'm going to have fun with them. I like these. If it rings a bell or hits that nostalgia spot for you, you may be interested in swooping these up. But, you know, it's not really for most adult collectors. This is something that reminds me of toys that I really enjoyed when I was a kid. And now that I have kids of my own, I want to enjoy stuff like this with them as well. So that's where my interest is in with these but it's not going to be in the interest of everybody. But if you're interested in them or you liked looking at them, I recommend you pick them up. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to follow me over on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.